Let's consider a second problem. In this problem, again, we have been given two charges, plus Q1 minus 4Q, separated by distance A, and we are asked to figure out the electric field at this point P. So I need to calculate what electric field at point P is, and electric field at point S. We are again dealing with one dimensional case, so we don't have to worry too much about vector analysis. So let's begin. Let's calculate at P first. We will do the same thing what we did last time. We are going to use superposition principle, meaning we calculate electric field due to individual charges and then just add them up. I will tell you a general method which I like to use when we are dealing with lots of directions. I like to consider one direction as positive. So let me choose in this example right direction as positive. So if there's any electric field towards the right, I will call that as positive, and electric field towards the left, I will give it a negative sign. Okay, so let's concentrate on point P. We have A, which is a positive charge, and positive charge gives an outward field, and therefore A is going to produce a field towards the right. So that field, let me call that as EA and it's positive. Similarly, charge B is going to produce a field at this point P and that field will be inwards. It's going to come towards because it's a negative charge and that field will be towards the left. So let's call that as EB. Hope it's not getting too crowded over there. And according to my sign convention, EB will have a negative value. So I'm going to substitute the negative sign only while adding them. So let me first calculate the magnitude. So the magnitude EA, I'm going to use the Coulomb's law, KQ by R square. So it's K into Q, which is Q, divided by R, which is 2A, the whole square, gives us 4A square. And similarly, electric field due to point B is going to be K into Q, I only take care of the magnitude. Remember, I'm calculating the magnitude of the electric field. The sign, the, the sign is only there to tell me what direction the field is. So I don't have to put the sign over here. Divide by the distance square, which is A square. Now the total field, E at point P, is going to be plus EA, because that's positive according to my sign convention, and minus EB. Notice this is purely due to my sign convention. You could choose a different sign convention and you'll get a different answer based on that. Now, if my final answer turns out to be positive, then the net field is in the positive direction. If my final answer turns out to be negative, it all, it, all it tells me is that my net field is in the opposite direction. That's all. So if we substitute now, we get KQ by 4A squared minus 4kq divided by a square. So if you take kq by a square common, we're going to get 1 over 4 minus 4, and that tells us um, kq into, I get 1 minus 16, that's minus 15 divided by 4 a square. Notice I get a minus sign. All that is telling me is that the electric field should be in this direction. So that's okay. So let me write the magnitude now. The magnitude is going to be 15 kq divided by 4 a square. I would say towards left. The minus sign is telling me it's towards the left. There we have it. That's at point P. Now let's evaluate at point S. We have to do the same thing at point S. So just for practice, let's quickly do that. At this point, you could even pause the video and figure it out yourself and then check whether you get the same answer as I did. So if you are passionate about the problem solving, please pause, solve it yourself. Okay, let me do this. So the first step is getting the direction. Charge A is going to put an outward field and charge B is going to put an inward field. I call this towards as inward away from as outwards. 
Notice according to my sign convention, EA is now negative and according to my sign convention, EB is positive. So let's calculate EA. That's going to be K into Q divided by this distance square. So that's A square. And EB in magnitude, I'm just calculating the magnitude, is going to be K into 4Q. Notice, no negative signs, just the magnitude. Divide by the distance. I, I, no, not here. This distance. Okay. P to S, this distance. 2A the whole squared. So that's 4A squared. And, oops. This cancels. So we get EB as KQ divided by A squared. So the total field now at S, let's use sign conventions, EA is negative, so I put a minus EA, and EB is positive, according to my sign convention, plus EB, but notice they have the same magnitudes, and therefore, uh, we get a wonderful result, electric field at this point is zero. And that's beautiful, because what that tells me is that if I have these charges fixed, so they're not allowed to move due to their mutual repulsion, and if I take a tiny charge from my pocket and I put it at that point S, that charge is not going to experience any force because the net field at that point is zero. The two fields cancel out. Okay? So I hope this gives you some intuition behind solving problems in one dimension, electric fields. See you next time.